being able to sit and just make something for an hour is really helpful. And then it started being therapeutic just because it was a routine. And we don't really have a lot of routines right now. I knew every afternoon I was going to come outside and draw for a little bit. It was something to look forward to. Along a quiet street in Winter Park, next to tall trees and cozy homes, where there used to be just a sidewalk, is now where you will find Casey Drake's concrete canvas. For me, it was a way to kind of look at the things that we're having to deal with that are new right now and probably scary for a lot of people and look at them with a little bit of humor without making light of the situation. <laughs> The vibrant chalk murals have become a colorful place for her two-year-old daughter to play. Little does she know she's dancing on world-famous art. Casey started with a few dozen followers on Instagram, but in just one month, that number has exploded to more than 40,000. She's been interviewed by magazines in Ireland and Greece. She was even asked to make this image for Jimmy Kimmel Live. Kevin Bacon, Kira Sedgwick, thank you so much. We'll be right back. Thank you, man. Thank you. All of this is even more remarkable when you find out that Casey has no formal art training. She actually has a degree in biology and was a high school science teacher before stepping away to raise her daughter and eight-month-old son. Like so many of us, was just looking for a way to entertain her kids. When the quarantine hit, we were looking for something to do, so we just came outside uh, to sit, and I drew a picture of Olaf for my daughter, and she really enjoyed it. Uh, and then the neighbors enjoyed it, and I kept getting hassled to come outside and, and draw some more, so it started becoming a daily tradition. Casey's art is a reminder that we all have something special to give, and if you're like me, it's probably not chalk art. Mine looks more like a crime scene from Monsters, Inc., but even if it seems small at first, we can all make an enormous impact, help other people get through these troubled times. Um, the one big question I get asked a lot is if I get sad when they wash away, and I, I really don't. <laughs> For one, it's a blank canvas. I have like favorite sections of the sidewalk, which I've never thought of so much about the sidewalk in front of my house. Um, but also it's kind of a reminder that this is temporary. It's gonna wash away and we can, can start over. So everything ends. When this pandemic does eventually end, Casey's art will not. She's already been asked to share her work at Advent Health Hospital and on Park Avenue in Winter Park, so she's hoping to turn her talent into a new career. Until then, she will be one more person keeping Central Florida strong for all of us.